It's been made famous by the popular TV series The Bridge. It spans nearly eight kilometres, joining Denmark with Sweden. And now it's a flashpoint in Europe's refugee crisis. Sweden is one of the most popular destinations for asylum seekers entering the EU. Last year, the country took in 163,000 people. And this graph shows the number of refugees European countries are taking per capita. Sweden has accepted more than double that of any other OECD country. But it's straining Sweden's resources. And now authorities want to lock the bridge down to stop the flow of people. Europe correspondent James Glenday reports from Malmö, Sweden. This spectacular structure links Denmark and Sweden. For the past 15 years, the Orison Bridge has been seen as a symbol of European integration. Holly Snaith is one of 18,000 commuters that travel across it daily between the Danish capital Copenhagen and the Swedish city Malmö. Well, when I first started, it was a very, very straightforward journey. You get on in one country, you sit down for 45 minutes, you get off on the other side in another country. So it's a comfortable journey? Yeah, absolutely. After you, you can go first. But things have become more complicated. Hey, how are you? There are new checks at the last stop before the border. Will you please take off your glasses? Then more on the other side, adding up to 30 minutes in travel time. It's quite sad, I think, for the, the border region that this is happening, but also it's just a pain. I mean, you know, if your friends are coming from Denmark, now they have to bring their passports and remember to do that, and uh, it's, it's made life a, a lot more disruptive, I think, in that respect. Until recently, it was possible to drive from Portugal to Poland without a passport under the European Union's Schengen Agreement, which led to the scrapping of internal border controls in these countries. But last year, more than 160,000 asylum seekers crossed this bridge, overwhelming Sweden, which had promised to greet them with open arms. Every day. Every day you check people? Yeah. So, for now, police stand guard in a temporary bid to stem the flow. These types of checks are not just happening on the border behind me, but also in countries like Germany, Austria, France and Norway. And with asylum seekers continuing to flood into frontier European countries like Greece, the future of the Schengen Agreement is on very shaky ground. Commuters who have enjoyed half a century of passport-free travel here say the EU is to blame for not securing its borders. It is a necessary step to... Um... To, to maintain the uh, safety and stability within the Schengen area. Since the checks were introduced, fewer asylum seekers have made it this far, though there are fears for what it all might mean for cross-border trade. If it becomes a permanent state, then of course it will be a problem for our economies uh, in some way. But a solution to the asylum seeker crisis still seems some way off. And there's a sense this might be the end of the line for passport-free travel here for many years to come. James Glenday, ABC News, Malmö.